there! I am so happy that you clicked this video. My name is Irene and in this video I am going to tell you everything about the new Shuridu Bernina Quilt Along. Mid-January we are going to start a new quilt along. So two years ago I started the first quilt along that I hosted together with Bernina and it was such a wonderful quilting experience. Thousands of quilters from all over the world joined the quilt along and beautiful quilts were made and people learned new techniques, made new quilting friends. It was it was wonderful. So now it's time to tell you all about the second quilt along that I'm going to host together with Bernina. We are going to start mid-January. On the 14th of January uh, the quilt along is going to start and in this video I would like to tell you a little bit more about it. I'm going to talk you through the plan, so what we will be doing and when, and then I'm going to show you the design of the quilt, so um, actually show you the whole quilt that we will be making. It's not going to be a mystery quilt like last time, um, I will tell you more about it when we get to the design. And after that I will share about the kits and the materials for this quilt along. Then there is information about the Facebook group. There's going to be a Facebook group again for this quilt along. And finally the prizes in the giveaways. There will be two giveaways during this quilt along. And the prices are really, really awesome. So I'm saving that one for last. So let's start with the plan. So what is the plan? Well, the plan is to get more confident in quilting. In our previous quilt along, we did a lot of different techniques and really focused on the patchwork to create a quilt top. And now we're going to use one technique, uh, only going to do um, foundation paper piecing and we're going to make blocks and we're using those blocks to quilt so kind of like a canvas um, to uh, to draw on but then we're making trees to quilt on and while i was thinking about this quilt along i knew i wanted to focus on the quilting part of um, making a quilt because so many quilters struggle uh, with quilting their own quilts yeah that results in sending off a quilt to a long arm quilter uh, which might be costly or maybe you do want to do it yourself uh, but you don't know how to start or those unfinished quilt tops just pile up and never get really quilted so I think there is really something to say for learning to quilt our quilts ourselves and get more confident in that so that's what we're doing in this quilt long and um, so while I was thinking about it, I thought, yeah, we could just assemble a quilt top of squares and then use those squares to practice on. But then you would have a quilt with squares. Um, could be nice, but it's maybe a little bit too simple uh, to practice all that beautiful quilting on. So I thought, let's design something that we could use as a compass. So I have designed a quilt full of trees. This is a little part of it. We'll show you uh, the full design uh, um, in a minute. And what we're going to do is free motion quilting and uh, quilting with rulers. And we're going to practice that and um, see if we can build um, some skills in that and get some practice done so you get more confident in quilting your own quilts. We are going to take it slow and go over all the basics in this quilt along. So the first step to making this quilt is of course making the quilt top. And we're going to take the first half of the quilt along for that. So the quilt along is going to take from mid-January up to about uh, beginning of June, I think. June, half June, uh, mid-June. And um, so the first half we're going to assemble the quilt top. Every two weeks I will give you a new pattern of a tree and then we will make four trees uh, with that block. Um, so if you like to batch things you can sew those four trees at once every two weeks uh, or you can make two trees every week. Um, yeah, so that is uh, making the trees. We will be making 16 so after uh, eight weeks 
we will have that quilt top finished. So when that quilt top is finished, um, we will sandwich a quilt. So we will make a quilt sandwich, baste it, and uh, then start on the quilting. And every step of the way, I will be there with you with live Q and A's. Um, you can ask questions on the blog post. So the structure of the quilt along, um, maybe I should start it with this, but sorry if this is going to be a chaotic video. I, I thought I had planned it out really well, but uh, this first part of the plan, we're still there. Um, <laughs> it's just going to be a little bit longer. Um, so all the material for this quilt long is going to be on the Burning Up blog and on my YouTube channel. So all the patterns are free on the Burning Up blog. You can uh, read about it over there and you can see the videos about the quilt long on my YouTube channel. And then there is also a Facebook group uh, with live Q&As and I will go into a little bit more detail about the Facebook group later. Um, so yeah, that is where the quilt along is happening. So when we're going to make a um, sandwich over a quilt along, we're going to baste it. I will discuss basting methods uh, in a YouTube video and on the Bernina blog. So every start a step of the way when you're thinking, yeah, I know how to make a quilt top a little bit. I'm just a beginner quilter. I've never quilted my quilt myself. Can I participate? Yes, yes, you really can. So we're going to make this for everybody. Also, if you don't have a rule of food or if you've never done free motion quilting or if you're not sure your machine can do those kinds of things, you can participate because I'm going to give options as well. So when you don't have a rule of food, I will give options for free motion quilting. When you don't want to do free motion quilting, I will give options for um, straight line quilting. But those straight line quilting patterns, um, I won't show them in the video, so I will just give you a graphic option of how to do it because we will focus on free motion quilting and doing ruler work but of course when you want to straight line quilt your blocks I am going to give you options and uh, probably will make a video about how to do it with straight line quilting but I'm not going to show it in as much detail as I will for the free motion quilting and ruler work so yeah, the quilt along is going to be for everybody. There will be lots of information about every step of the way. So halfway of the quilt along, um, we have made our quilt sandwich and then it's time to quilt our quilts. So we're going to use a different design in every block and um, we're going to be quilting two trees every week. So every week I will make a video and a blog post and show you how to quilt the two trees of that week and uh, then you can go ahead and practice on it. And after four weeks, there will be a little break with a live Q&A, so you can ask your questions about the previous designs and you can catch up a little bit uh, during, that, uh, during that break. And quilting two trees every week might sound a little much, but um, just imagine that your quilt top is already done, your quilt is sandwiched, and you then need to stitch. So you're going to stitch on your machine. It's not hand stitching that we're doing. So it's working on your machine. And I think that it's really doable to do it every week. And the um, um, positive side of doing it a little piece every week is that you're going to build a little bit of muscle memory or maybe a lot of muscle memory if you're really practicing. Um, so when you're doing this every week, instead of every month a new pattern that you can quilt then we're really going slow then you have all the time but then you won't get the hang of it I think so when we're doing eight weeks of uh, well with a break in the middle so I guess nine weeks of quilting and every week you're going to take an evening or a Saturday afternoon to quilt your two uh, trees then you're really going to get the hang of it and you're going to start remembering how to attach that thread, how to um, uh, start quilting. Uh, it's going to be much easier for you to quilt your own quilts after that because you've started quilting well eight times on different designs. Um, yeah, so I think that will really help. So that is what we will be doing. And then after those eight weeks, uh, there is going to be um, a little bit of time to catch up. 
then I will show you how to do a binding and then um, there's the final giveaway. So that was part one, the plan. So now we're moving on to the design and I would love to show you uh, the quilts that I have over here. Let's start with the rainbow version. There's going to be three, well, four versions of quilt. I know it's not going to help to pull it up because you can't see the whole quilt, but just to give you an idea, I will put an image over this so you can see the whole quilt at once. There's four trees and then four rows of trees. So this rainbow version has pink and orange and yellow and green and at the bottom there is teal turquoise bluish this is the rainbow version on a soft pink but there's also a rainbow version on off white both are really fun i think such a happy quilt um and then i split this up in two quilts so this is uh, what I started out with while designing and then I came up with two more versions of the quilt and this one is in green and teal so there we go all teal and green trees and this is just mixed um, all the colors are mixed in in this quilt top and the background here is a very light uh, gray. All the fabrics in the kits are uh, solids. So this is the green and teal version. And then I kind of did the same for um, the pink and orange version. So just imagine the quilt blocks that are on the top of this quilt. That's the color scheme for the uh, pink and orange yellow version. And that one has a off-white background so those are the four, four kits that are available in um, in my shop for this quilt long and I I didn't sew all these trees myself um, I had really great help from the Shiridu test team um, so Hannah and Leontine and my mom they all made quilt blocks for me to uh, to assemble all the uh, quilts in time so thanks a lot uh, yeah so those are the quilt kits and that is not all because there's also a backing so during this quilt along we're not only going to make the quilt top but also the back and we need the back to make a uh, quilt sandwich so I designed a little pattern for that and that is this scrappy version uh, of the quilt back so and this one is for the rainbow quilt on pink that will get a pink backing and you also have this in a soft gray that is for the rainbow uh, on off white and well every kit has every every quilt top has a coordinating kit for uh, the back and that also includes fabric to make a scrappy binding and um, yeah, when you check out the um, kits uh, in my shop, you will also see that there is batting that you can order with it. So um, if you want, you can order all the materials to be set uh, and ready to start at um, mid-January when we're starting to quilt long. And then you have all the things at home to really finish your quilt. There is an important thing that I need to tell you about the quilt kits. So um, there is a limited amount of kits available right now. So I, we did our best to make as much quilt kits as was possible for us. And all the quilt kits that are in stock now and are ordered before or up until the 18th of November. So that is within one week of after this video was published. Uh, when you order your quilt kit within a week from now then i will make sure to ship it out uh, in the week of the first of december at the latest so then we can be pretty sure that you will have it at uh, before the quilt long starts so then it will be shipped out from the netherlands uh, before the christmas christmas craziness um, so the um, amount of quilt kits that i have in stock now can be ordered and i will ship those out as soon as possible 
but as soon as I run out of the quilt kits so that I need to assemble and order more fabric and assemble more that is possible but I'm not sure how long that's going to take just because delivery times um, can take longer or sometimes colors are not in stock anymore so um, yeah so I will continue making quilt kits also after uh, this week or after my, I run out of quilt kits right now um, but yeah I can't promise when you will get yours then um, I will do my best to ship out everything as soon as possible but that's just so you know um, what's up with the quilt kits so if you order what is in stock and order before the 18th of November then it will be shipped out within two weeks and you will have it in time and if you order it after that or maybe you're watching this video later and you've just heard about the quilt along probably um, the quilt kits are still available in the shop uh, it's just that I can't promise that when you order it after the 18th of November then you will have it in time before the quilt along starts but I'm doing my best to ship out as many kits as soon as possible Something else besides the fabric kits that I have um, is rulers because we will also be quilting with rulers and I have selected a few different ruler sets that I will be using. I'm just going to uh, talk you through it really quickly. You can read more about it on my uh, on my webshop in my shop but I just wanted to tell you what the idea is. So if you have um, a little bit experience with rulers you might already have rulers um, just use what you have that is perfectly fine um, the most basic things that I'm going to use is a straight ruler and a set of circles when you have something like this lying around and you don't want to uh, invest in a whole set of new rulers just use what you have a straight ruler and that's I guess the most basic to be able to stitch in a ditch and make a lot of quilting patterns uh, and the circle rulers as well those two give you so much options already and then I have three more that I selected that I'm going to show you in this quilt along but for these so for example I have here um, lollipop rulers by um, uh, Amanda Murphy for good measure and um, when you do have those or you get those you can quilt along and do exactly what I'm quilting but if you don't have these and you do have a straight ruler and a circle ruler or maybe you have a straight ruler and you will do some free motion in between and then I will give you options to make the design that we're doing with just a straight ruler and circle rulers um, so the lollipop set then we're going to play around with wavy rulers and they don't need to be this exact set I have the wavy rulers by uh, Amanda Murphy for a good measure um, I'm going to use those but if you have other wavy rulers or just one wavy ruler that's enough that's that's more than enough so just use what you have uh, if you want and then another fun little ruler that I'm going to use is Tosh and Tosh is designed by Angela Walters uh, for creative grids and uh, this is also something that we're going to use so five different types of rulers that I'm going to use in a quilt along and show you what you can do with it um, they are all available in the shop um, so yeah just check it out if you're interested in um, those rulers and um, there are also other things like for example this Hira marker uh, to mark your um, fabrics with um, while quilting a really handy tool so I have a bunch of those um, things that you might need during the quilt along in my shop I think that was it what I wanted to tell you about the kits and the materials so um, yeah the kits and materials and then we are uh, at point four it's going well uh, following the plan for this video uh, the Facebook group so there is going to be a Facebook group the fee for the Facebook group is 10 euros which is I will put in the screen what it is in dollars in Canadian dollars um, so that's a fee for the Facebook group and what do you get with that well you get 
uh, access for as long as you want in the Facebook group. You can share your pictures there uh, of your progress. You can ask me questions. I will be in there and uh, reading along and chatting with you guys in there. So uh, on a few points during the quilt along, uh, you can uh, pop in there during a live Q&A uh, and ask me everything you want. Um, I can demonstrate things for you. So if you're struggling with some kind of movement, for example, I can just redo it for you during the demonstration in the live Q&A. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's just a wonderful extra community that comes with this quilt along. The, um, Quilt Along to follow is completely free, so only for the Facebook group I will be asking 10 euros. If you order a kit, you will get access to the Facebook group for free. Then we are at the last point of the video, what I want to share with you, and that is the giveaway. There is, oh, I'm so excited to tell you this, it's going to be a huge one. So there is going to be two giveaways. There's a halfway giveaway. After we assemble our quilt tops, you can uh, send in your quilt hop via the Bernina blog. I'm going to tell you all the details on how to do that during the quilt along. But when your quilt hop is completely ready, uh, you can enter the halfway giveaway. And with that, we are going to give away three times a Mettler thread box. So that is sponsored by Bernina. Um, so three times. And also three times a Shiridu curated fabric bundle. So that's me. I'm going to curate a fabric bundle three times and uh, send that out to three lucky winners. And then at the end of the quilt long, so when all the quilting is done, when your binding is on, that's just to encourage you to really finish the quilt. I know that I do need some encouragement for that final step to finish my quilt. So after your binding is on, you can admit your quilt uh, for the final giveaway and there's not going to be a judge or a jury or there's n nobody's going to look how perfect your quilt is it's just about that it's done and that you did it and that you practice all of those weeks and that you had a wonderful time quilting your quilt so that's the most important it is not going to be checked if it's perfect just just so you know everybody can join uh, all uh, levels, all skill levels of quilters can join and not a big thing, you can win uh, three times my new book that is coming out in February, Should We Do Happy Notes. Um, there is three times a ruler set, a Bernina ruler set and you can pick if you want um, the normal ruler set or the long arm ruler set and then there's one more, one more prize and that is the Merlina Q16. When you finish your quilt, when you make the quilt and follow along in a quilt along, you can win a Bernina Q16. Super exciting to share that with you, but I know that uh, a quilt along is not only about the prices. Like we experienced last time, um, it was so wonderful to see everybody connect and make quilting friends and interact and help each other in the Facebook group. Uh, thanks Jill and Karen for moderating the Facebook group last time. It was such a wonderful place um, to see people grow and see uh, quilters learn new things and get excited on the new techniques and steps they took. I think being part of a quilt along gives you a little bit more encouragement to try things and to step out of your comfort zone. And I really hope that this quilt along is going to give that for you as well. Um, but then for the quilting part, so learning to quilt your quilts, practicing on making designs, and you can really do this on all kinds of machines. So uh, on the top over there, um, I have a very old sewing machine and I've quilted my first quilt on that and I did free motion things. I didn't really know how to do it but I did and um, I know you can do that too so you don't need a fancy machine. I am going to be quilting on a Q16 and on my Bernina 770 um, but you can be quilting on any machine that you want and I will be giving suggestions and I will try to help you out as good as I can to get you quilting on your machine. So there's room to ask questions uh, to get you started and ask for more specific help in the Q&A's in the Facebook group. 
so you can show me uh, what you have going on and uh, see if I can help you um, troubleshoot uh, yeah to get you started on your way to quilting your own quilts so thanks again for watching this video if you're still here I am so excited and I really really hope that you're going to join the quilt along so if you want to join the quilt along go to sugardoo.com slash one two three and sign up by leaving your email over there and then you'll be on my mailing list to get all the patterns and links to videos and blog posts just in your email so that is completely free so you can just sign up for free whether you want a quilt kit or not and uh, i really hope that you're going to join i'm very excited about it can't wait to start hope to see you there on january 14th